Hi everyone, this is Matt Ivoroni with Blue Dot Technology, a managed services provider headquartered in the Raleigh, North Carolina area, supporting networks, systems, databases, and more to businesses nationwide. The core service we provide is a fully managed infrastructure monitoring, and in today's video we'll demonstrate how we use Zabbix to resolve service issues automatically. With Zabbix, when an alert is triggered, we can send notifications or run scripts to perform other actions like opening tickets in ServiceNow, create a message in a Slack channel, or run scripts on the server generating the alert. For this demonstration, we'll generate an alert on a web server using Apache and restart the Apache service to resolve the issue. So here we have a free BSD server running Apache and an item is configured to run a service status on that server and return the string back to Zabbix. We've created a trigger to read that response and determine whether or not the service is running. So right here we just have not running and uh, if we find that text in the response then it's going to trigger an alert. So now we're going to create an action for when the alert is triggered. We're going to give it a name and then we're going to give it two conditions. The first is going to be the application is equal to Apache. And the host group is going to be our Blue Dot infrastructure servers. And then we're going to create a couple of operations. The first one we're going to do is attempt to restart that service. So we're going to select remote command. We're going to select the current host as the target. It's going to be a custom script executed by the Zabbix agent. And we're going to run the service restart command. Now what we're going to do here is just put this as one minute. So we're going to allow the service to restart. And if it doesn't restart, uh, then we're going to be able to perform more actions. But more importantly, we're going to want to notify people that it was restarted. So we're going to hit add there. And we're going to hit a new one. And this is going to be step two. And this one we're going to run for 10 minutes. What we're going to do here is send a message to the administrators that are responsible for the web server. Then we're going to do one more to send an email to the management team in case this continues beyond that first 10 minutes. We're going to add that. Now what we're going to do is go to the BSD server, stop the service, in order to generate an alert. So we're going to run the service, Apache 24, stop. We see by the status it's now not running. So we can wait for this to generate the alert. So now the alert has been generated. See the Apache service is not running and an action has been executed and that remote command is completed successfully. So now we can go back to the FreeBSD server and run status again and you can see that it's been restarted. Now since it's been restarted, this problem should clear up on its own. Okay, the issue has been resolved. And that's just one example of how we can use Zabbix to resolve issues automatically and bring services back online. We'll be reviewing more Zabbix features and other technologies we support. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in any of the services we provide, visit us at our website and fill out the contact form or give us a call. Thanks again for joining us today. And please feel free to comment on the video and provide any feedback. It's all appreciated. Thanks again.